Why, everybody? I've got my game cooler out. Let's see what we got inside for today. Fantastic. It's a game of hand hockey. Hand hockey. This is what we're going to be playing outside today. Now, for hand hockey, you got two teams. You're going to divide your teams on the field. You got an offensive team and a defensive team. And your team will switch back and forth between offense and defense a whole bunch of times. So, in this game, we're going to say that this is the defensive team's goalie right here. That's their goal. Here's the offensive team's goalie down here, and that's their goal. And then we have the offensive player here, the defensive player here. Now your team's really gonna have a whole bunch more offensive and defensive players, but this just helps us see it better, okay? So here's what happens. In the game, the play starts on the center of the field. One team gets the ball, and that kid is going to hit the ball with an open hand while the ball's on the ground. Now, in this game, you're not allowed to pick the ball up, to carry the ball in any way. You cannot kick the ball. You're only allowed to hit the ball with an open hand. So it's going to roll around the ground a lot. Now, as you're hitting the ball uh, down the field, this offensive player could pass to another teammate, okay, who looks invisible right now. Or they can take a shot and try and hit it into the goal. Now, the defensive players, obviously, they're going to try and stop the ball. So they're going to try and hit the ball back toward this goalie, or they're going to try and pass it away to one of their teammates. The key to this game, being successful, is keeping spacing up. So stay spread apart from your other teammates. Don't get caught up in um, clumping together like a big bunch of bees or something, you know, in a hive. You want to be spread apart. And the other key to it is making sure that you're calling for the ball. Now, if I'm a kid on the offensive team and I'm way over here, down here, I'm just kind of playing back on defense, I might not call for the ball because I'm way back here. But if I'm an offensive player and I'm right here, maybe I call for the ball. If I'm right here, maybe I call for the ball. So I'm gonna be calling for the ball so that my offensive player, who's my teammate, knows where I am. Okay, because when they're looking down at the ball, they may not see everything. They may need to hear uh, where you are. Now, a couple special rules. Number one, if the ball goes out on the sideline, so out on either sideline, then the team that did not hit the ball out gets to hit the ball from that sideline. They get five feet. So any defensive player has to back up five feet, which isn't very far, but it's far enough to give them some room to hit. All right. If the ball goes off the end line, off the goal line on either end, so down here or up here, then the goalie gets the ball and the goalie gets 10 feet. So everyone on defense has to back up at least 10 feet from the goalie and then the goalie gets to hit from there. Goalies are allowed to block with any part of their body. They can block with their feet or their hands or their body, but they're only allowed to strike the ball, hit the ball out into the field with their hand. So you can block with your foot, but you're not allowed to kick the ball away after you block it. Okay. All right. Well, have a great time playing hand hockey and I look forward to seeing you out there.